Hey everyone, it's Cliff with Kayak Cliff Outdoors. Today, I'm gonna review for you the Priority 600X. I wanna call it a mountain bike, but it's not really only a mountain bike. <laughs> Had to think about that for a second. Um, I have the advantage, unlike many reviews that I've done, I have the advantage of owning this bike. Uh, I bought it with my own money from uh, Priority Bikes. I've had this bike for a year now. I've had a year to use and abuse this bike, and I got a lot to say about it. And what is the Priority 600X? <clears throat> well, it's a 29er, 29 inch tires. It's a hardtail mountain bike, meaning it's got the front suspension, but no suspension in the back. Uh, the back suspension are your fat tires and how you inflate them. Um, but it's built with cross country geometry in it. So it's a cross country bike, and it's also built with bike packing adventures in mind. In my opinion, this is a do everything bike. In the past, I had uh, a gravel bike, I had a road bike, I had a folding bike, and I've gotten rid of everything after using this for a year. This is my everything bike. Again, it's a Priority 600X, so stay tuned, we'll dive into it. Well, if you've been following my Kayak uh, YouTube channel, Kayak Cliff, um, you'll notice that I've changed it to Kayak Cliff Outdoors now. Now, I'm primarily on the water. I'm primarily kayaking and boating and adventuring on the water, but I also adventure on land, and how I do that is with a bike. So I'm gonna be adding a heck of a lot more mountain biking adventures to my channel. But what makes this bikes so unique in my mind or priority bikes all of priority bikes and i'll put links for their bikes in the description box is there's no chain there is absolutely no chain i have not washed this for probably three months it's uh it's got a heck of a lot of miles on it and you know you can't do that to a uh, a normal chain all there is is just some dust on my fingers this is a uh, a gates carbon belt drive and there's no chain. This lasts like three to four times longer than a chain. And uh, it's, it's, just, it's just so simple. There's no oil, no grease to this bike. I'm gonna show you later how you wash it. But this carbon gates, this gates carbon belt drive is just unbelievable. It's quiet, you don't oil it. If it gets dusty, you just hose it off. And what they've done is they've coupled the gates carbon belt drive with internal gearing like all of Priority's bikes are. Now what's different about the gearing on this bike is this is a pinion internal gearbox. Now all of Priority bikes have some type of internal gearing. There's never a derailleur on a Priority bike. All it is is internal gearing and the internal gearing might be here or it might be back in the back hub. With this bike, the pinion internal gearbox, it's a German gearbox. It was designed by Porsche engineers uh, not by Porsche, but uh, used to be Porsche engineers. And it has more gearing equivalency than really any mountain bike that you can get. It's a 600% gear ratio on this. And most mountain bikes are like, I think 525 gear ratio. So it's 12 speed, but it's very low and very high in terms of all of the different uh, configurations that you can get to. So you can climb the steepest of hills and you can do uh, some of the most rapid descents, and I'll get into the gearing uh, later, but there's zero overlap with the pinion gearbox. So there's no, it's like when you're, you're at one gear, then you go boom to the next gear, boom to the next gear, boom to the next gear. There's never, there's never any overlap, but uh, just extremely low maintenance. Uh, about every 5,000 miles, all you do is pull the plug on this, drain the transmission fluid or the oil out of the gear case and refill it, and that's it. I mean, there's people that have tens of thousands of miles on this, if not even 100,000 miles, I think there's probably some. But this bike is made for adventuring and extremely low maintenance, something that won't break down on you. And, you know, when you buy 
a bike at the bike store, you ride it for a little bit, the gears stretch out, clankety clankety clank, the gears don't work, uh, you go get it adjusted, pay them to adjust it, clankety clankety clank a month later, it's not really shifting right. I've been through that with so many rear derailleur standard bikes. Nothing like this. It comes out of the box to your house from priority. You put the wheels on, you put the seat on, you put the handlebars on, and you're riding. And in a year, I haven't had anything adjusted at all. I mean, sometimes you might have to retension the belt a little bit once. I haven't had to do anything. So talking about the shifting, again, the pinion, uh, 12 speed gearbox, 600% gear ratio. Um, all the shifting is on one side and you can shift it or you have to shift it when you're not pedaling. So basically you're pedaling, split second, shift, split second, shift, split second, shift, split second, shift. You stop pedaling when you pedal this and it's just a split second, that's all you need to do. Um, I'm not out to win any races. I'm not out to win the Tour de France. So I don't care if I lose a fraction of a second pedaling when I shift this. Just the smoothest of shifting. And the thing that's nice about this, when you're out riding trails and, and, and you come down a descent, you don't really know what's up in front of you, but you come down a scent and whoa, there's a heck of a climb and you haven't prepared by shifting. With this, you throw it all the way down and then you're climbing up. And you can do that in a split second by just that split second stop pedaling, move it to whatever gear ratio you want, it's not gonna hurt it at all. That's how you have to shift with this. Now about the gearing, how is it done? Well, I would say uh, from my experience, I would say from one to six are your climbing gears. And so you have a lot on the low end. And for me, going downhill, you know, if it gets steep enough, I don't care if I'm pedaling or not. I'm just coasting because I get to a certain speed and that's the maximum speed I want to go. Where I'm always concerned about is what's going on with my gears for going uphill. And I want maximum climbing ability going uphill. And that's what you can do with this. Uh, gears one through six, in my opinion, they're the climbing gears. Gears seven to nine, they're more your flatland gears. And then gears 10 to 12, they're your descent gears going down a hill. Uh, so there's less on the descent uh, ratio and there's much more on the ascent climbing hill ratio, which I really like about this bike. And that's one of the things I want in, a, in an adventure bike or a mountain bike. Now the shocks on this bike are different than what you would see on uh, most mountain bikes. It's an inverted shock, meaning the shock is upside down. It's made by Wren and uh, they picked this as really in what they thought was an upgrade. It's an air, it's an air uh, cylinder shock. It, um, it's inverted like a, mo like a motorcycle is. Uh, your off-road motorcycles, uh, dirt bikes, things like that, they have inverted shocks, so why not a, uh, a mountain bike? Um, they're very light. Um, they come with a carbon fiber protector uh, that you put on yourself, very easy to put on, but that protects uh, the lower piston uh, from any rocks or any damage, and they're really cool looking as well. This Wren offers 110 millimeters of travel, which is, I mean, it's that's great. That's, that's plenty for all that type of the riding that I'm doing, or anybody would do on a hardtail. Um, there are individual air valves, top and bottom right here. You know, you got air valve here, air valve here. It comes with an air pump, so you can pump them up. But basically, you determine how you tune this this um, this fork. Um, you you tune it with how you put air in the upper chamber or the lower chamber. It, if you want your ride to be as plush as possible, you, know, you only add air to the top chamber. If you want a more progressive feel, then you begin adding air to the bottom chamber and this moves the floating piston up, reducing the uh, size of the air in the chamber. So again, on YouTube, I watched some videos from Wren to even learn more about this, and I've just been super fascinated and super happy with how these, uh, these shocks have worked out. Now the disc brakes on this, they're hydraulic disc brakes, and they're like, you know, most other high quality hydraulic disc, disc brakes, they stop on a dime. It's my first set of hydraulics, and boy, even compared to steel cable uh, disc brakes. The, these are, are many levels above. Uh, it comes with the Hayes Dominion, 
uh, or at least when I got the bike, and I think they still ship it with a Hayes Dominion uh, four piston disc brakes. And um, this, this is a testament to the customer service at Priority. Their customer service is unreal. They're wonderful. Any communication that you have with them, they're great. <clears throat> After getting this bike, and again, it's so easy to put together. You literally pull it out of the box, put the wheels on, put the handlebar on, drop the seat post in and put the pedals on the cranks and you're done. But after riding it for a while, I, I just, you know, the, the, the wheel, it was hanging up on me because the disc brakes were hanging up. And I took it to the bike shop. Uh, they said, basically there's a, a stuck piston. One of the pistons was stuck and it just wasn't allowing the brake calipers to move around the disc. <clears throat> so I contacted um, Priority, sent them some pictures, uh, showed them what was happening no problem we'll send you some new ones but cliff there's a problem this was a year ago there were supply chain problems hayes dominion is their bike uh is is their brake but they also sell tectro orions as well and they said look we can't get you the hayes dominion but we'll get you the tectro orions and they're just as good same thing just a different company so boom shipped them right over to me i got them took them to the bike store bike store put them on for me um, Priority said, just send us the receipt and we will deduct from your charge when you purchase this bike from your original invoice. We'll just deduct the price of the bike shop maintenance putting on the new brakes. So, I mean, within, within a week I had the brakes and then the brakes were put on by the bike shop and I had a credit uh, from Priority. So they never questioned me, never had any problem. They knew what the problem was when they talked to the bike mechanic and I sent them the um, pictures. So they got right on it and they fixed it. Thanks a bunch, Priority. I, I love their customer service. You know, I showed you the cranks for the um, for the disc brakes. And uh, again, these are the Tektro Orions. It comes with the Hayes Dominion, both, compa both com comparable brakes, but uh, just wonderful disc brakes. And uh, they look great. Over the last year, I have not had any trouble with losing hydraulic fluid or anything like that. Just, you know, they stop on a dime and they do what they need to do when you're off-road. Your frame for the Priority 600X, it's an ultralight aluminum, uh, no carbon fiber in this, just low maintenance aluminum. It's never going to crack or anything like that. It has on it a logo on the frame by who helped Priority design this bike. And this means a lot to me because I love watching his videos. It says, get out there with the Rocky Mountain um, uh, mountains and the trees in the background. It just says, get out there. And that's what this bike's designed for. And who's, who coined that phrase? Well, that's Ryan Van Duzer on YouTube. And Ryan Van Duzer helped Priority create this bike. And, and Ryan rides this bike all over the world. Uh, does amazing bike adventures. And uh, he's the one that inspired me to get this bike. And now I'm gonna be using it in my videos as well and getting out on adventures. So if you don't know Ryan Van Duzer, follow him on YouTube as well. Now on, the, on your right hand is where you have your, uh, your shifters. On this side, there's no shifters because there's no rear derailleur or anything. There's no different cassettes you have to work up. So this is free and clear right here. But you can put a seat dropper post right here. They have internal cabling in the frame so you can easily put a dropper post, which um, Priority sells, or you can get it from your local bike store if you want to run a dropper post for your seat. I haven't found the need to have that because I don't do that radical of mountain biking and we'll get into that on my adventures. But um, yeah, so you can add a seat dropper post on it if you want to. And again, there's internal routing through uh, the frame of this bike so you don't see the cable and it just comes out the right spot and goes up into the seat, uh, up to where your dropper post is on your seat. Now many of you might be noticing this uh, stem cap here. It's a, a skull uh, smoking a cigar. This does not come with a bike. It's just a, a, a nice black carbon fiber looking uh, stem cap. I ordered this uh, custom online and put it on because I thought it was cool. The other thing that I added to this bike that does not come with it is a frame bag. And Roadrunner bike bags out of LA, they make some incredible bike bags. And on this bike bag, there's a zippered compartment on the uh, left side which is a little more shallow. It's more for your cell phone. And then there's a zippered compartment down here that goes the whole length of the bag. So you can pack a ton of gear in here. And just for my daily rides, 
you know, I'm, I'm, I'm throwing all types of little gear in there that I like to have with me. Uh, I keep, uh, it's got a little loop on the back. I put my uh, pepper spray for any, uh, any dogs that want to chase me, and I've had that done before. Um, so anyway, I didn't want to mis mislead anybody and think that it comes with this cool bike, uh, bike bag. If you want a bag like this, I highly recommend uh, Roadrunner bike bags. When I was looking at mountain bikes, this is really what I wanted, but I looked at the bike stores at all the other mountain bike brands asking if they had what this bike had, and I couldn't find anybody that had it. It's got six water cage locations uh, with this bike back here. You don't see it here, but uh, I have water cage here. I have water cage, uh, you know, brazons here. I have water cage brazons here. I have them on this um, rear chain stay, and I have them on this rear chain stay. So that's five. And then there's also uh, uh, some right here, up on the top of the frame, if you wanted to put a water bottle here. Uh, but you might have a Volton bike bag that goes on the top. It's just below these Velcro straps. So you're not limited in how much water you can carry with you on this bike. And what I put here is I put a Arundel um, bike cage here. That's just my everyday bike cage, and I got one of the adjustable ones, so I can put a 32 inch now. Now uh, I can put a 32 quart. So I can put a 32 ounce uh, Nalgene bottle here. Or I can just crank it in. I could put a standard bike bottle here, and with the ability to add huge Nalgenes to the back chain stays of the bike, that's unbelievable. You can carry a ton of fluids on this bike. Now I should have called this the rear triangle. It's not the rear chain stay, chain stays down here. Um, but it also has your rack mounts as well. So if you want to add a bike rack to the back and, and put panniers or anything like that on the back, you can do that. It's got your uh, brazons here and the attachment points down here somewhere. Yeah, to go into the frame if you want to put a rear rack. Now the tires, it comes with the uh, WTB Ranger 2.25. 29 inch tires these are tubeless ready so um i the first thing i did is i went tubeless it's wonderful you don't have to worry you know these these have puncture protection and everything and i haven't had well i'm not going to say it but in a year i haven't had that particular thing that bike bikers don't like <laughs> and there's no it's metal so there's no wood here but um wonderful tires the it came with the wtb ranger black walls now, I got a thousand miles out of my first set of tires that came with the bike, and that was riding, um, that was riding off-road and on-road, and uh, a mix. And uh, they performed beautifully. I, you know, the guys at the bike store said a thousand miles, that's really good. So uh, when I get, went to get new tires, I wanted the Rangers again. So I got the Rangers, but they now offer them with a gum a tan sidewall. And boy, it makes this bike pop. Uh, I really like it. Now. The, the rims on it are WTB COM, I think it's KOM rims. Uh, they'll handle the 2.25 and they'll also handle all the way up to a 2.4 tire. Now the frame will handle up to 2.8 tires, but you might, you, you need to consult uh, with WTB to see if 2.8 tires will work with these rims. But, uh, you know, the frame is designed to go up to 2.8. Uh, but again, the 2.25s I found to be perfect for the hybrid riding that I do. Uh, just uh, uh, green and blue trail mountain biking and road riding. Uh, they work beautifully for me. Maybe I'll go to a 2.4 at some time, but I don't want to slow me down on when I'm on the road. So 2.25 has kind of been a sweet spot for me. When you get the priority, it comes with some nice platform pedals. I just upgraded to these Shimano Dior XTs because they're a little bit bigger surface area. And I used to use clipless to ride, but I'm, I'm all platform now. It's easy, it's comfortable. I wear my running shoes and it, it's all I need. I just wanted something a little bit bigger, um, but what it comes with, they're, they're, they're nice and uh, uh, definitely sufficient uh, platform pedals. When you get back from your ride, if you want to wash the bike, all you need is a hose, car wash brush, and some car wash soap. I mean, there's no degreasers. There's, uh, there's nothing. You just hose, hose the bike off, and then I wet the. I always wet my brush, and. Put a little car wash brush, little car wash soap on the brush, and 
start washing away. I mean, it doesn't get any easier than this. I mean, you can get a rag and get in the tight crevices. You know, a lot of times I use a little washcloth. I just clean that Gates Carbon belt drive here by doing this. That's clean. Usually when I get back from my week weekday rides, if I you know came across some mud or I was on a trail that was super dusty, I uh, I just take a wet washcloth and wipe it down because I like to keep it clean and, and that's all you need to do. And it's like, you know, your wife's not gonna be all upset that you used a washcloth and got grease all over it because there's no grease on this bike. Uh, you just wipe it down with a, uh, a washcloth and, uh, and you're done. And uh, I really like low maintenance, high quality, and uh, you get that with the, uh, the Priority 600X. So thank you for spending some time with me today to learn about the Priority 600X. Again, I can't say enough good things about this bike. Um, you're gonna see me using this a lot on adventures. I'm gonna start doing adventures, uh, whether it's trail riding in Dallas or whether it's mountain bike riding uh, on some trails in Texas or North Carolina or elsewhere. But uh, I'm gonna start using this for adventures and I just wanted to get out here with a review before I start doing that uh, with what this bike is and why I love it. Um, I'll put my affiliate links in the description box. If you do purchase this bike and you wanna learn more about it, Priority has a wonderful return policy. If you don't like the bike for some reason, I don't know why you wouldn't, but it's, uh, I don't. <laughs> but uh, the um, if you, they have wonderful customer service, wonderful return policy, and you don't need to sit here and worry about, well, I need to get it from a bike shop because I need to get free adjustments. Well, there's, it's maintenance free. There's no adjustments. It's, it's unreal. Um, if you do purchase one, purchase from my affiliate link. I get a little bit back from Priority. It doesn't cost you a dime extra, but I get a little bit back to help fund my videos. All the camera gear, the kayaking gear, the camping gear, biking gear, all that I gotta buy. And it just helps me support that, um, support that so I can keep on cranking out videos for y'all. Uh, if you like my videos, like and subscribe to me. I'm at, as of today in June of 2023, I'm at 9,100, 9,100 subscribers. I am truly thankful and I appreciate all of your views. Um, God's blessings to you and your families. I hope to see you out on the trail sometime. Kayak Cliff out.